time came the freeway era in the 50s, when Ontario highway construction took off after the Second World War and was on its way to becoming the best system of its kind in the world. This was something else, another first. Construction work on the Trans-Canada Highway. A job that involved crossing rivers, cutting through rock, and battling the elements. All part of the work of building a highway from sea to sea and beyond. After your plane came the highways in the sky in the 1950s and 60s. First, the Burlington Skyway. Then, the Garden City Skyway, here under construction. Farther down the canal, lift bridges were causing major traffic congestion. So, it was down to earth again. In fact, under it. With the Welland Canal traffic gliding majestically above, the 60s saw construction of two tunnels under the waterway, and motor traffic flowed as never before. The lift bridge era was out. Tunnels were in. Enter the modern superhighway. This one, a 12-lane section of the mcdonald carchet Freeway, otherwise known as the 401. Congestion was becoming a dirty word in the language, and coping with it demanded more and wider highways. But cars grew faster than roads. The car makers were pushing for two in every